Bambi is the cute Disney deer that everybody loves. But just like their cousins Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse, Bambi entered the public domain not too long ago and is coming out with its very own horror movie called Bambi the Reckoning, which is set in the same universe as the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movies. And honestly, the trailer looks fun, but the dialogue sounds more AI generated than what AI would generate. Like the trailer starts with two hunters shooting towards a dead bird tied to a tree, and then it follows up with a robotic conversation about whether or not they killed a deer before. And the bearded man confirmed that he has killed a deer before. Then it transitions to something a little bit more cool, and that's Bambi using his final smash on a car in just roaring. Now the first question people have is whether or not this movie will be good, and I'm here to say that no, it won't be good, but I don't think it will be terrible. Because Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 came out, and people still thought it was a bad movie, but also said it was miles better than the first one because it looked like the script was trying to share an actual story as opposed to just banking on shock value, which is something that everyone appreciates because it shows that the studio is self-aware and is trying to make a good movie. But here's my main issue with those films. I believe that this universe can be so good if it is loyal to the source material. Like the Blood and Honey movies, Winnie, Piglet, Tigger, they don't have a single attribute that borderline pays homage to their childhood counterparts. Like not even a pot of honey and as a result, this doesn't feel like a Winnie the Pooh movie, it just feels like a regular slasher movie but with someone wearing a Winnie the Pooh costume. So that's essentially what I want, at least acknowledge the original world that you came from. But that is what I think is happening with Bambi. Because if you don't know, the main premise for Disney's Bambi is that Bambi was born and is raised by his mom, but his mom was unfortunately killed by a human. So as Bambi got older, he wanted to find a way to get back at his mother's killers. And that is presumably what is happening here, because the bearded man mentioned him killing a deer, which is an obvious reference to him killing Bambi's mom. But the difference is that the animated Bambi didn't go through a bloody hooligan rampage to try to kill the hunters, and also he didn't look like a zombie. So I'm already happy that there is some hardcore acknowledgement and incorporation of the source material into the main story. But speaking of a zombie looking Bambi, let's talk about Bambi's look. Now from the trailer, you can't tell what he looks like, so I went to Photoshop and tried to brighten the image up, and this is what I got. And from the looks of it, yeah, it looks pretty decent, and for a small budget movie, I like the CGI on the deer. But at the same time, CGI always looks good in the dark, so we still have to wait and see. By the way, I'm rooting for this movie's success and the entire Pooniverse. I've said this in the past that I support the idea of the Pooniverse because it's different. But at the same time, I just want them to be good and not just be lazy shock value cash grabs, and hopefully Bambi the Reckoning can change that up. But yeah, that's it.